Okay. senior at Ohio State, we couldn't draw with color. We could not use color for the first two years of our study, only black and white. And then we were let loose with color. And I went crazy with it. This was abstract expressionism, which was the big thing in New York at that time. And I loved it, but people didn't understand it. And so I I gradually shifted away from it to more representational things. So they kept you in a monochrome world to uh, yeah. pent up your creativity no, or train one no. aspect of it? We worked from mainly nude models. We were, it was basically about drawing. Studying form. Drawing for two years and then the painting. That's a classical approach probably not used today. Okay. Okay. And you even got a video presentation here? I do. This, um, this is my artist statement. It tells, tells about the background. And these are paintings that have already been sold that are in private collections or institutions. Okay, so one way to still show them? Yes. Yeah, I wanted to show them because really I'm just showing what I have retained or what has been done recently, but over the years, many, many have been sold and are out in the world now. And you've been, uh, looks like you've been very uh, continuing to be analytical and keeping images, photos of what you've uh, no well, longer had. I don't ever use photos. Do not photograph. I always work from life. But keeping the at least photos of your artwork that oh, you don't I'm no sorry. longer have. Yes, yes, of course. Yes, okay. always photograph everything. Well, and I appreciate painting from life. I think it's, yeah. personally, I think it's a bit of a cheat to just take a photo and then paint from the photo. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Well, Lynn, um, is anything here for sale? Most everything. Not my early work. I don't think anybody would want it anyway. But, uh, no, almost everything downstairs. And briefly, your book? My book, yes. That was, I had to take time out of my painting to write a book about the women in my family. And it also tells a lot about my life, too, in that book. But I'm not writing anymore. Back to painting. All right. I did finally read the book, and I thought it was a very good narrative, very good story deri derived from history. Thank you very much. And where can you be found? Online and yeah, wherever? Yeah, lynncarden.com will have my artwork and my, my website about the book and my paintings. Do you have any social media pages? Yeah. Facebook? Yeah. All right. Lynn, Lynn Carden with a C dot com. That's right. All right. Lynn, thank you very much. Thank you, Kevin.